welcome back to Gray Squadron Gaming, where we have a spooky episode. I'm so scared. Hope you guys enjoyed my spooky sound. It was very spooky. We got zombie Geonosians on the board. This is a, kind of a mission-based objective. We're still fighting each other, still using the 1,000-point build rules for the new Legion or Legion 2.6, or whatever you guys want to call it. Um, but always, if you've seen the channel enough and you've seen our other Halloween specials, I always add a little mission or a little flair to it. Essentially, it's going to go like this, guys. We each will start range 1 through 4 to the side and range 1 up. So we'll, I'll be on this corner. Don will be on that back corner there by the scoreboard. We each have a bunker or a building we need to get to. As long as an operative commander or special forces, special forces base touches that, the leader, you can roll a red defense dice on any paint. You get the codes. Once you have the code unlocked, you have to be within half range of the um, escape pod. And you're going to roll another red dice on a block or surge to get on a red dice, so any paint again. You get that. Once you have that, the person who gets that code has to make it back. The token can drop and be picked up just like the other tokens in the game for a free action. First one back to the deployment zone with those codes win. The easiest thing about this, remember, is I wanted to keep it simple. So whoever gets that code, we all have um, radios. We can communicate codes. So once you have one person get a code, anyone in your army can go over there and unlock that. But that piece of intel it's so one of those nice discs, those like three and a half inch floppies you get from like Rogue One. Yeah. <laughs> and you run back, you get extracted, your extraction, you win. If neither of us does that, because the zombies are going to be trying to eat us the whole time, we're also trying to kill each other. Um, closest one to it, or the people who've lost the least or killed the most, or, you know, we'll have different tie things on the screen for you to look at too if you guys want to try this at home. But before I get too far, don't want to get too far yet. I want to shout out to all you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subbing. Thank you for commenting. There's giveaways, of course, like always. Don, big shout out to all the Commander Patreons. Huge thanks to our Commanders, Jamal Alahadi, Alex Bingham, Paul Jorgensen, Arkan Dan, Michael Hume, Evan Christensen, Jacob Blecka, Tyrell Paul, Playing With Karma, Papa Heavy, Ethan Mills, Too High To Die, Jay Terrell, Nick Hernandez, Toy, uh, Tokan, <coughs> Thomas Trotman, Eli Arthur and Walden Kaywood, Anthony Bunomo, Flobit, Ethan McKinney, Grant Sonye, Sozo, Grimoire Gamer, Anthony Hosking, Big Woody, James Cox, Martin, Stan Perks, Michael Riley and Kakuja 1111. Thank you all so much. You're the reason we can do all this, so we really appreciate it. Wanted to get the special episode out before Halloween, so you're getting it a couple days early. Um, going over list wise, I'm not going to put the whole squad on the screen like I usually do because there's zombies on the board right now. <coughs> and they're set up at predetermined measurements to make it fair. So each bunker, I'll show you guys real quick in case you want to do this at home, it has to be, one. the closest corner has to be at range three, and his is the same. The middle thing is perfectly in the middle, the thing that helps. Zombies are spaced apart equally. We've got two types of zombies. I'll flash the cards on the screen. There's the runners. These are these guys right here. They have no wings, as you can see. The runners, and then there's the regular, um, I forget what call them, zombie drones, the ones with the wings. They act a little differently, pretty close, similar. I'll put their cards up on the screen so you guys can see what they look like and how they function. My list I brought is a Republic list because you can see our gunship got shot down, so we have to answer that. I got Obi-Wan Kenobi with lovely first force aggressive attack situation awareness. Not normal Obi build because I don't think I'm going to be using force spear a lot because all these guys are pure melee, the zombies. No shooting here. Commander's got portable scanners. I brought Padme with recon and situation awareness. She likes dealing with those bugs. Figured she's got some She's going to try to talk their ears off. <laughs> I had to bring the big fives unit because it's my favorite unit of the game right now. I got fives with the shotgun... What is it? The DP-23 Trooper. One unit of phase, or excuse me, infantry with the DP-23. Two with the Z-6. We've got one, two, three units of arcs, all with targeting scopes, offensive push, and the clone commander. So to make it easy to color, the clone commander is just being subbed in for the regular looking commander arc trooper. So there's a clone commander, there's a clone commander, and there's a clone commander. Just to keep it nice and clean. Brought my list up to 999 point-wise. If you guys don't know, this is a new token that we are giving away. This is the POI tokens we've shown you previously from Curl Paw, but but our version. Thank you, Curl Paw. So fancy. Fancy one. So we'll get those away. Curl Paw also makes all the regular tokens for the game and these nice acrylics. We give away a lot of mirrored ones that are exclusive for us. Check them out. If you want a holder for these awesome tokens, this is the J Squared token holder for Curl Paw. They also make a lovely holder for the um, cardboard tokens. They make this holder right here for the um, templates. It comes with a free... Half range ruler that'll be slotted in here. If I print the right one, two silhouettes as well come with it included. They also make the dashboard. Let's go look at Don's list. Oh, look, you brought Salt Crown back. I did. So I'm running a dual Imperial officer. Hoping things go well for you tonight. Yeah, you bet. 
dual Imperial officers. Uh, Salt Crown will be standing in for one of those. Uh, I brought the fifth brother and the seventh sister because they're hunting Obi-Wan. That's their job. That's what they're going to do here. Um, we've got two units of Royal Guards. We have one unit of the Riot Squad because I still haven't bought another one. We have three units of Stormtroopers, each with an extra Stormtrooper, and then two of the Snowtroopers with the Squadron of Snowtroopers, and then the Flame Trooper and Fragmentation Grenades. I also am at 999. I think these guys would be really good in this mode, actually. They're as long as they search the block. Yeah, as long like as they can block a little bit. They're not. They're not going to shoot you, so they're going to have mando defense at all times, unless I sneak up and shoot yes, you. Yes, you will, you definitely will pop. We do have a lot of problems in the zombie specials ever trying to kill each other because we're so busy fending off the zombies. The Usually one thing, more me than you, but yeah. yeah, yeah. The only thing I didn't mention is all the zombies can revive because they're they're zombies. <laughs> so at the end of every round, we roll a red dice if anyone's missing from a unit. If it's if it's a block, they come back. If it's a blank or surge, they don't come back. Super easy. If a unit's been completely wiped, we take them off the table, put them. To the side during the um regroup phase we roll a red dice same thing um except for any paint except so surges count too they come back on the board within a half range or excuse me range one of the bunker that they were killed from and they want to be closest to the enemy trooper they always move to the closest enemy trooper and then attack if they cannot attack they will move move very simple line of things that's it there's no imperial officer zombie trooper like some others they have other abilities these are these zombies just want to be zombies you're just hungry man hive mind guys all the rules will be on the screen, and if they're not, comment below, and I'll make sure to put them up. But I will make sure to put them up. Yeah, our editor will probably have to remember that at some point. Also, we're still giving away the Bad Batch. Um, Don will grab the Bad Batch and the foil cards we're giving away real quick. So check those out. Just comment below. Our keyword of the day is going to be really easy. It's going to be Happy Halloween or Zombies or Hive Mind. Something about like this episode would be great. So we've got the Sith Wool. These are foil, so they're glaring a little bit. The Sith Wool Rule. Ploy. These are all hollows. Reckless Diversion. This is the second to last week for these. Next week will be the last. Bad Batch new in the box. Check all those out if you'd like to get them. Last but not least, Gift of Games, a local game store that has everything game store would have. Guys, you came to watch us try to get killed by zombies or more likely get eaten by zombies. Let's go hit it. Okay, as you can see, they all have standbys. How this works with the zombie activation is they all start the round with a standby token. They have infinite courage, so the standby token is not coming off. Other than that, it's a normal standby token. If you move within range, they move and they can proc charge, etc. If, let's say, we move within range of this guy, he spends a standby, they move up to attack me, they get a face down token, they cannot activate again. If they don't activate from the standby, at the end of the round, when, once me and Don are completely done going, they will activate then as normal as long as they don't have a standby. If they have a standby, if they have a standby, they activate. If they don't, they already activate. Right. Cool. Um, yeah, I think that's all the rules, Don. Look at the card here. We went with, um, you can see there's not a lot of cards here because we're not playing the normal rules or the normal stuff. So I went with standing orders. He went with, um, you would you would question me? I'm trying to get this in the frame for you. It's a lot of words. Fifth brother gains name token. Seventh sister gains dodge token. When fifth brother gains dodge, seventh sister gains name. When an either unit gains an aim or dodge, other unit may gain and mobilize token. If they do, they gain the token as well. Scoring track. No advantages. No Deploy me because it's custom for this scenario. Don will start us off with the two pip. Don's going with his Imperial Commander. In the the stack. It is a commander. We're going to pop King. out with the Salt King himself. And as you see, there's one unit on each side that starts in your deployment or standby basically, range. Basically, pretty much in the deployment. So these guys will proc. I think these guys will also proc. So both of these guys will do their thing. So we'll just call this guy the unit leader. The runners have Agile, as I showed you the card earlier. Mm -hmm. So they're going to get a dodge. The and they have demoralize and all that fun stuff. That would the demoralize everything will only happen if they get to go. Since this, since the, it's flip, mm -hmm. the flip face down the standby, we know they can't activate during mm -hmm. their activation phase. And the flyers here, they have jump, so they won't have to worry about slowing down here. So they'll pop right about there. Perfect. And for the people who don't look at the screen or just listen, I know there's a lot of you guys who do that. Um, the G Notion Runners, which are the guys right there without the wings, they have Agile 1, Charge, Cover 1, Demoralize 2, and Scale. They're 2 health, 3 per unit. Surge to crit, surge to block. They are speed 3, sir. You get to move oh. them a little farther now. Um, their attacks are red, black per unit, lethal 1, and suppressive. They're nasty. The Flyers are only speed 2 because they have jump 2, Armor 1, Charge, Demoralize 1, Scale, Surge to crit, surge to block. And they have two black suppressors. So they hit a little less, but they can go over things easier. These guys are a little nastier. Um, now, you might think, okay, well, they're done. They don't get to activate in the round, so now you can kill them. You can kill them, but the chance of them just keep reviving every round with that standby is very high. So the first round is your easiest round with the zombies. Once you get in the thick of it trying to get to things, it becomes much more of a nuisance. 
Let's go to my stack. We've got some arc troopers. I've got three full units with the community. Let's go, let's go with my shadow arcs. Which probably could have used a little bit more highlights, but it's okay, guys. I like them. Um, that's, that's old school Joe painting, guys. That's some of the that's back stuff. when he quote unquote didn't do us good. <laughs> so I am within range two of these runners here, so they're going to start running at me. Brains. So I'll move once. Pep, spending their standby. We'll put that down because it's all still like the order token. They are also agile, like we saw on the other side. That's done. The good thing about the arcs is they have. That was a scout it. action. That was so. a scout action. So my next action, and I'm going to aim for that tactical. Uh, we'll uh, go ahead and, I guess, take an aim and then move. We'll move to about, yeah, let's see there. Come right to it here. It's getting into the thick of it. Charge them up. Why wouldn't we? Which I think procs another standby up top. Yep, I believe it would be them. Possibly even these guys. We'll have to take a measure here. We'll, we'll check, too, after we go kill some zombies. Ten black dice, two aims for my two tacticals. I do have precision scopes as well, or targeting scopes, so I have precise one. Those darn arcs. I think that's it. I think that's all the specialty you get to do. Oh, I have a surge token from the commander as well, if I really want to go crazy. Well, you got three surges so far. So we're definitely not going to keep those. We'll spend the first aim to roll these three. Oof. Spend the second aim to roll these three. That's, that's a little better. We'll spend the search token to change this. So everything but two is not bad. So it's going to be eight coming at them. Don will get to roll. Just eight. Well, they all roll white defense dice. Um, search is a block. The runners have cover, which doesn't help them here. The flyers have the armor. They use the wings as almost like These guys armor. do have a dodge, which they would spend. Yep. So down to seven. Mm -hmm. They have six health total. They do search both ways. So they are alive with one health. Okay, so he's got one guy left with one health. These guys, Proctor Sandline came up. These guys were just out. Just to keep track of the board state. And we'll go back to Dawn. I go to the stack. It's one of our special forces. So we are going to go ahead and go with this Imperial Royal Guard unit. They are going to move on to the board. And then they are going to charge into the flyers. Yep, yep. And Poke them with a stick. Okay, let's see if they can kill some flyers. I think that does proc these guys that run at you, that too. That will more than likely do that. These flyers have armor one. He's rolling some dice. All right, so we got three reds and three blacks for our regular guys, and then two blacks for our electro staff. And that's not too shabby. That's good. Armor one will take one away. <coughs> Don's okay, I promise. Four white dice with surge to block. You'll, you'll kill one, one model. One model. Right, so that did trigger the standby on these guys, so they just jumped from one end to the other, heading towards the Royal Guard. We're going back to Joe. Now they're special forces. They're the specialists. So we're going to take the 212th special forces here. We're going to run them up. That's his scout. First action will be to take a move action, so he'll have two aims from this double move so far. Coming about there. Sure. Two aims and a search token because he's got his good buddy, the commander, with him. Um, I could move again and really get into it. This is going to proc there. So, so that standby actually procs now. Yep, so they're going to run now. So let's get them up so we can see what this looks like before I decide. Sure. He'll come there. They're activated for the round. And then we're going to give them a dodge because they got that sweet, sweet agile. They are a Geely. Thank you, sir. They're holding each they're other. They're holding hands. They're yep. friendly. So with that, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use my third and final, or my second final action. We're going to shoot the guys who just moved up. All right. The cool thing about the arcs is their gun is the charge weapon. So even though they're not charging, it's the same dice pulls last time with two aims. And the lovely search token with precise one shooting these guys. I went with the flyers instead because the, the runners have cover one with a dodge where the flyers just have armor one. So we're going to shoot the flyers. Makes sense. That's not a bad start. A good start. Okay, so we'll keep that one surge because I got surges. I don't think anything else is shooting me. So we'll spend the first aim. I mean, that was pretty good. Yep, yep, I would say so. Spend the second aim. That was not good. And we spend the surge. So you're looking at an eight pack. Oh, armor one will take away away. So seven again. Seven for them. All that's, right. that's not too shabby. Uh, I would say so. They use surge defense. So let's see how they do. They don't. No, they're they are, they are gone. I'm going to stack here. It is a core. We are going to start off with some riot troopers because there's something in charge range. And boy, do riot, riot troopers love charge. So they're going to pop out here. They are going to charge as far as they can get, basically. Right into there. And then they will see if they can't put a hurt on some bugs. That hold the line keyword gives them surge to block and surge to hit. So they can hit now. All right, so it's going to be four, red, four blacks, two reds, surge to hit because they are engaged in melee. As the dog, right? Yes, they do. Not a great roll. Uh, they'll dodge the one, so it's just two for this unit. And that'll be you one dead body. 
Oh yeah, I guess I didn't shuffle very good. I don't know. So we're going to scap two onto the board in our first aim. Which... For those of you wondering, I did watch him shuffle his stack of chips. I did. I don't know. So that will proc this standby. These are my speed two guys coming at me here. So they're going to come up. They're going to not get anything because they don't have dodge or anything like that. That's my first action. My second action will be to... Um... we got to be careful here because we don't want to pull these guys. Are you too. sure? I think you should try to pull them. So I think... <laughs> no, thank you, sir. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move... I'm gonna move a little bit this way, actually, not straight up there. Straight, straight up, up not tell me. So we're gonna go like this. <laughs> what there. you guys don't see off camera is Joe sings constantly. I'm always serenading. And on. the chipper, more chipper the song, the less likely that I am doing well in the game. So we'll move up for our first action, and our second action and final will be to shoot these guys. Alrighty, let's do it's it. It's the same thing. Two aims, a surge token. People are gonna be like, dice. did I skip behind in the video? Oh my goodness, what are you doing, man? You're killing bugs, bro. That's what, that, that is what, that's what clones do best. Let's win the first aim. We don't need precise. Uh, I'll spend the second aim because we only have one surge. I got too cocky there. We'll spend the aim, but it's still going to be eight. And then after armor one, it's down to seven. I think I've had you roll seven each time. Uh, you have, and I don't like it. Okay, these bugs do have six health and they do surge. And they're still, still dead. dead. All right, I'm going to go to the stack here. It's another core. I got six of them. It's going to happen. We'll go with the green boys here. They if are you going notice, to... there's short troopers with the snow troopers because Don doesn't have enough snow troopers. I don't troopers. have enough snow trooper bodies. So... Yet, he has to paint some. Yes. So we're going to pop, and we're going to do a double move there. Um, so I don't think the initial move triggered either. And then this one does not trigger either. So we're just going to make sure everybody gets cohered this way because I don't want to pull the middle yet. Are you shooting with your steady after the second one? Uh, I will shoot with my steady at the guys up top there. Okay. All right, so this is just 10 white dice. Doesn't search to anything. Into armor one, heavy cover, flying bugs. And it doesn't matter. It was 10 of nothing. We got one, but even if, that's, even if the heavy cover doesn't that's, stop it. That's some real bad average. average. That's, that's some real bad averages, guys. Still like my, my Rebel Z6 <laughs> a little bit there. I'm say, we got a core because we had to get something inside Special Forces because yes, we went through them all. We do. So we'll go with the uh, we'll go with the boys, my Ahsoka unit here, my three hundred and thirty seconds, right? Yep, yep. No, we'll move them up. Yeah, it is three thirty seconds. Yeah, yeah, I got yep. it, got it. Move up to here. They don't have scout or anything, so they don't get to do two actions. But I think oh my god, Empire unit or a Guardian without scout? Are you even playing this game? So we'll go ahead and just shoot our guns at these guys. Do it up. Oh, yeah. ten dice. Not as good though. No, six Not whites, four blacks good. with the search token. I mean, are you sure? Felt pretty good still. We'll Do I still have to roll seven dice against you? We'll spend the hang on. We'll, no, unfortunately, because they have a dodge. So they'll spend the dodge oh, to bring okay. it down one. So almost. So I only have to roll six dice against you. Look at that was a new, crazy good white dice roll. That's <laughs> ridiculous. Uh, I just rolled ten white dice and got one paint. You got five. five. Well, that's a good defense roll, though. So I kill a one dies and the other one gets a wound. All right, go to the stack. It's going to be our other commander, Becky, climbing out onto the field. She's got to start moving up to command her troops more forcefully here. So she will double move. That's going to be her. Okay, Padme is coming out with her operative token. She has recon, so she's going to take that. And then we're going to see. <laughs> she pops out and goes, I'm in danger. Yeah, pretty much. She's going to, she's, she's used to being on top of Gene Ocean Spire. She'll move up to here for her first action. Her second and final action will be to shoot those guys. Why wouldn't you? That means three reds. She searched her two, takes with her light cover, and she's got um search crit. So we're looking at two. Two. That's another dead one. All right, going to the sack here. It's a core. We're going to go with one of our units of stormtroopers. They're going to go up and support their lovely commander, Becky. With a little bit of moral support, some high fives, some pats on the tush. Good stuff. Good, no, game, guys. Good games. Go my stack. We got a core. We're gonna bring fives as big boy unit on the board Ooh. at this point. He's not gonna shoot that one health one guy left. He's gonna move here. Sure. And then we're gonna come up here and support our arc troopers, because you know fives isn't our trooper after all. It's true. So double moving him, and that's it. I go to the stack. We'll go with another unit of my stormtroopers. I'm not super keen on double moving these guys so they'll just pop out and they'll take another pot shot maybe their white dice will be a little bit better than our snowy friends so there's just five dice five white dice into heavy cover armor one flyers hey that's much better wow that's really good much better so heavy cover for how many just two three for three. cover 
Cover check. Ooh, take Taking away two. So Armor's going to take away that third one. So it's just two. Box one. Go to my stack. It's Commander because Obi-Wan Kenobi has his order, which I just realized now that... uh. Anyways, okay. So we'll bring him on sure. for first action. And you know what? I don't feel like I need to... Exemplar with him quite yet? No, not really. So we're just going to move him all the way up to camp. Alrighty, sounds great. All right, going to the stack here. It's going to be a core. We're going to go with our other big unit of snowy boys here. And unfortunately, they're going to bite the bullet, guys. They got to they gotta do it. So they're going to pop out to right about here, which we're just out, which is super unfortunate because I thought they were going to be just in. Well, if you move them again, you still have steady. You can shoot them. Yeah, yeah. But I wanted them to be closer when I shot them, not the other way around. Uh, let's see. How far is this? Oh, that's going to be real close. So we're going to move just to right outside range two of that other unit, which we'll proc there. So we will shoot our standby actually goes first and then steady. So yep. these guys will come this way and we will shoot them. All right. So we got three blacks for our, bla our, our flame blast grenade. Is that what you're trying to say? No, or this the is flame the thrower? flamethrower. We got one red grenade, gives me search crit for fun, because they have armor. And then eight, uh, seven more whites, I'm sorry. You were showing the dice pool, eight. never putting it in the camera. There eight whites, there we go. I don't, I don't, I don't do that usually. Good lord! You got three crits, so no armor, but the uh, red and the black. Sure, sure, the, but but the whole dice pool failed there pretty badly. All righty. They have a dodge, don't they, because you had the move? Uh, no, that's, um, they're not agile. Oh, they're the runners? They're the, they're the, the flyers. flyers. So armor won't kick in, yep, you're right. Let me kill a unit and a half, or a yeah, person one, and a half. Yeah. Hey, my stack, we, all we have left is uh, two cores, and then I have Obi with the order, because I forgot to direct at the clone commander, because I am silly. Okay, so he's going to go there for his first action. We're just going to see if we can finish off that one health guy, and then they're going to be done. Oh, yeah, we've got six whites, four blacks. Um, I have a search token on myself, and a search token on some buddies nearby, so if we want to spend surges, we can. He's got cover one. That's it, one health. He's got one health and cover one. That's all you need sometimes. Oh, you rolled at least as good as I did. Well, I'm going to spend two surges just to see if I can, All one right. on myself, one on the friend, to see if I can kill this guy. So well, first, check for cover. See what cover does here. Only, nope. Nada. And then defensively, also not. All right, go to my stack. It's a special forces unit. These purple guys are going to pop out here, and they are going to just double move to be ready for next round. Also, as a note, if you want to run this at home, I know a lot of people run their zombie ones, uh, the attempt with this one is not to have any tanks or heavy army things. Troopers with armor one's fine, but the tanks kind of break it, so I would recommend not yep. playing that unless you somehow give the, the zombies, like, impact right. one per unit or something. Just, just as a note. Last on my stack is my other shotgun trooper that does not have nearly as many people as the fives unit, so they're going to come up like this. Sure. Trooper section. And uh, oof, ah, with those runners right there, I don't really like those runners. I don't know if you're closer or I'm closer at this point. I'll help a brother out. I'll shoot him. Okie dokie. I did your mind. I forgot the shotgun, which is not range three. So we're just going to move them again to trigger their um, their charge. All right. So they're going to move speed three because they're the runners. And they're going to come at me, which the middle one is the leader. There we go. So as they come here, get a free dodge token. And then they're, at least they won't go this turn and eat me. Yay. This unit is the last unit of my stormtroopers. They're going to pop out just kind of right in front of the snow troopers here, and they are going to take a shot into the unit directly in front of them. I feel like this might be Don's first dead unit here. He can do this. I don't feel that way at all. Five white dice for our stormtrooper unit into the flyer. They have armor one. So that is going to be one, one. after armor because that one surges to hit and falls away. And then, oh, a dead, dead, another dead mom. I'm passing back to Don. All right, so I'm, I, I was just pre-measuring and I just said, screw it, I'll leave him right there. It's going to be the fifth brother. He's going to pop out. He's going to throw a lightsaber into a bug and see what he can do. So this is going to be three blacks, pierce one, impact two against the armor one flyer, which is possibly okay. Um, we do surge to hit, which will impact to a crit. So he needs to paint on both Chris these dice to stop the last guy from dying. Otherwise, he's going to kill him. Ooh, Almost. That one gets pierced, so that one goes down. Okay, last I have is Obi-Wan Kenobi. He says hello there to all his fans out there. He's going to move there, and then just to be cool, Obi-Wan Kenobi, he's going to jump. But he's going to kind of jump in this little protective <coughs> barrier so these things can't get me. Sounds good. Uh, so just so everyone's aware, that's eight activations. I have 12 activations. So Joe, I don't have any activations. Tokens. I thought you had eight. No, I have one, two. I think I have ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Oh, I have one pass I thought token. it was eight. For some reason, I, I was... So he has one pass token. So he just used the only one he had. All right, last but not least is the sister herself. She's going to hop onto the board as well. She is also going to throw her lightsaber into those fellas and see what she can do. This one's going to be three blacks, pierce one, impact two, just like the other one. They will have heavy cover. It's just going to be... So cover goes to four impact. So one... Oh, one, one pierce one. Because I, even if I roll, just to do this quickly, that was a cover roll. This is a defense roll. Was a blank. If it was, he would pierce it either way. Yeah, I do all the rolling for the revives everything off camera because it would just take forever to show. So what happened was um, all three of these guys just needed to roll paint to come back, and they all came back. So this one unit, this another unit, this unit, they had come within one of the bunker that they were killed from. So my side of this bunker, his side of that bunker. They can come almost touching you. They can't come out melee view. They all come out with standbys. There was no one to go this phase for them, so that's why we went right to the revive phase because they've all proc their standbys. This guy, we rolled one red dice per missing mini, and then I rolled one, so one came back. So he's got... And it's a missing mini, not health. So he had one wound. That one keeps the wound, but this one's back full health. And then all of them get their standbys back. This unit wasn't killed, so it gets the standby unit back. Everything Don said, we'll re-get its standby unit. He had one come back um, from one of the ones he wounded, and then he had the full unit, of course, come back there. Right, yeah. With that said, let's go to round two and see if someone can get some coach from this base. Welcome to round two where we got Attack of the Clones. Uh, when these units issue an order using this card, it gains one surge token or removes one suppression token. This one is units that are issued order this round gain Dauntless. Here we go, boom, boom, and boom. Um, one thing I want to correct, I was reading from our rules when we originally did this. We play tested this a few times to make sure it works good. And the one thing I said wrong was standby does not operate like the new standby. The standby of the zombies operates the old school style. I just didn't want to come up with a new name at the time. So essentially, when one unit does anything in this giant mess, they all go. They don't have to hit the unit that went. They can go, they charge the closest unit. That's their AI rule. They just charge the closest unit. And they can get their one move, they aim, then charge, always. They take two moves and they do two moves. Always trying to get to the opponent is the key. So... It becomes a mess when you first move into it. This is where the difficulty comes and everything spawns back and triggers all these standbys. Um, Obi-Wan Kenobi issued them, them, and fives. Fives then passes up there. So there we go. Those three have two each from aggressive tactics. He was coordinated and then he was directed. With that, on Don's uh, three pip and my three pip, we got roll off. Don made a good point. I should speak clear. I apologize. So when they spend standby, they obviously only get one action. But if they don't proc their standby, which in this case, I don't think anyone's on the board that can't at this point because we're all in front of their spawn points. If they didn't go at the end of the round and their standby was still up, then they get the normal two actions. But for one action, you get one action. So Don, what are you doing? Uh, so we're going to go with the Royal Guards. And before they do anything, they're going to go ahead and swing into these guys. Um, okay, so a little, little melee the them. best option, uh, best opportunity to attack. I like it. Hit and then we'll see how everyone else responds. Yeah, we'll see what, what it looks like after. All right, so it's two blacks for the Electro Staff, a black and a red each for the other guys. So three reds, five blacks into these boys. It's a good roll. It's pretty solid. Who are, you, are these flyers? These are flyers. So, so armor, one. armor one takes away one. So you are looking at a five pack. Okay, they surge the block. Block so one, take four, that kills the, the unit. unit. So before his second action kicks in, they all get to, right. all the ones with standbys get to go. So it's, right. to make this easy, I think what we're going to do is um, these guys will these proc guys and hit those attack, people. Though. That's easy. These guys, I think the this is the unit leader. So they're going so to they're they're move just charge them, into yep. these fellas. And I think this one, unfortunately, is going to go right into the K2 model. Or the yeah, I think you're security right. Droid. So, so we'll go roll for the attack on oops. the riot troopers first, then the full attack on the riot troopers make it easy, and then the royal guards. We'll do all rolls back to back yeah. for the sake of time. This is where zombies come in pretty scary. Let's do it. So this is the unit already melee runners are red black, yep. suppressive lethal won't matter. This is against our surge riot troopers. Crack. And our riot troopers do have our surge to block now because they are still engaged. <laughs> but uh, apparently that's totally garbage. Okay, okay, so, that's so then the cool. next one, they're gonna get suppression for that because all these attacks are suppressive. Mm -hmm. The next one will be the same unit we're attacking the riot troopers with six black suppressive surge to crit. This is a full unit. Okay. Only two. That's better. Huh? There you go, block one. Still another blank. Okay. Okay, and then the last one will be attacking the Royal Guards with six yep. black suppressive. Well, this one's a little better because they surge to crit, yep. so this is gonna be a five. 
There's the, that, that's nope, what the riot troopers really needed. really bad. But the riot troopers. Yeah, the riot troopers needed that. So they bought two and take three. All right, so to recap, back, back on the board, these guys took two hits. They lost the majority of their army because, unfortunately, Don blanked, and that happens sometimes. The Royal Guards rolled the roll that the riot troopers needed, a whole bunch of surges, but they lost a model and a half. Their attacks are suppressive, so two suppression, one suppression. Every zombie on this side of the board is now gone. We're going to go to my side. Wait, wait, wait. That was only oh, yeah. the first action, yeah, action from our Royal Guard, who I believe are going to jump over these guys because they have a mission to find some security codes yep. somewhere. You just got to touch the base, and then and so that'll be them. In the new Legion, pretty much any kind of base action is always a free action. So once he's touching the base, he can take a free action to roll a red dice, and any paint, he gets the codes. All right, we're going to my stack. We've got Obi-Wan Kenobi. Obi-Wan Kenobi feeling s extra good-ish. <laughs> I, I we can do this in a way where I don't proc these guys as long as I jump, which I can. But if I jump, my charge won't kick in until after he punches me in the face, which is a little scary as well. If I was to uh, force reflex, does that does that trigger them? It sure does. It any sure does. any action. Okay, well you know you got to yellow with your yellow sometimes. So Obi's gonna come up here, push this mission. He'll come to here. They get their standby proc before my charge. So they will uh, swing into me, and then I will get to swing into them. All right, three reds, three blacks, suppressive into Mr. Kenobi. Uh, so, all right, five for Mr. Kenobi to deal with. Kenobi's regretting his decisions already, guys. Okay. Oh, we're He's fine. Just taking one. We'll take one, and then we'll swing back. Two reds, two blacks, two whites. I got some critical Crit two. two. I got pierce two. Impact won't matter because these guys don't have armor. These are the... Uh, Agile dot uh, cover boys, which doesn't matter in melee. Okay, critical kicks in. Just there. five for them. Five pierce two. Five pierce two looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Uh, so, so they block one, but they get pierced. So one five guy wounds. left with one health. All right, so we're going to the stack here. It's going to be a core. We're going to go with the green snow troopers here. They're going to take an aim for their first action, and they're going to pop over here and engage with this unit. We're going to move just a bunch of them in this direction but we won't watch that on camera because he's going to try gross. to free up that road and garden. then uh, we'll we'll go do some shooting all right so the flame rifle is now melee so that's adding three blacks and then we have nine whites the flame rifle it's a flamethrower i think it's called a flame rifle oh is it actually i just looked at oh my bad okay flame rifle i, I and know and this is uh search to hit to armor one good god it's terrible it's because you brought the suck kind of me <laughs> Jeez. so just three no armor one Oh, just two. And then you block one. We've got one, two, three, four units are going to activate when anything activates. So I need to try to kill something before it activates. So my best bet is there's three health engaged with these arc troopers because one came back. So we're going to go ahead and just attack and then let all that standby go off and then probably move. Let's see what happens. Ten black dice again. I have a, two search tokens on myself because of the commander and grisp attack because I have search tokens all around me. So let's see what I get. We will spend um, one on me and one on my neighbor, so that way I'm just kind of splitting it up a little bit. Okay. And then we're looking at a total of five, five. packs. These are runners, so no armor to deal with. No. I just need. I just need. I just need three blanks. Can you give me three blanks? Sure can. Thanks, All right, sir. So this first unit's going to come in and charge me here, and here, and here. The second unit would want to charge him. But there's no room, so the next closest unit's going to be him. So they'll charge him, him, and they'll engage back here. Doesn't really matter. And this third unit, again, would want to charge one of these units, but there's no room for them to base. So they always want to move to the closest person. They've got speed three. So I think that's going to be... Ooh, it would still be this unit. Wouldn't they just charge into this unit? They could, they could make it over. I think they can actually get the black unit still. Oh, okay. Well, then. So yeah, we'll just come to the back of the base and then have some hangover. So the, right, so the black arcs the are black going to take a uh, runner and a flyer, whereas the orange will just take a flyer. Sounds great. I'll say, okay, so the flyers are going to throw six black surge to grid. Oh, That's Jesus. just all six for you, buddy. Now you roll good, huh? I guess. Four. Okay, I do have a surge, two surge, one surge on myself, and surges on neighbors for these guys. We'll spend my, Jesus we'll spend, Christ. we'll spend my neighbor surge, so I still have access to two. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. Uh, okay. It's going great. Now uh, so it's gonna be three runners. blacks, three reds for this attack. So that's five. Oof. Okay. I do. Have, I spent the surge on my neighbor, so there's another neighbor out there we can spend some on. Oof. That looks nicer. We'll spend one on my neighbor. We'll lose two here, and they're done. Okay. And now the orange ones. I think are runners, right? The orange those are flyers. flyers. Those are flyers. Okay. So another flyer attack here. Nope, nope, nope. Flyers are blacks. All oh, flyers are all blacks. You're right. I'm sorry. My bad, guys. It's hard to play when you imagined the cards. 
So just four this time. Crits though. Oof. Three go down there. Right, so here's what's left. I lost three mm -hmm. oranges and two blacks. The blacks still have another action. They'll take an A and maybe a token battery for the rest of the round. I go to the stack. It is a core. Let's go with the red core or stormtroopers here. They will base into these fellas and swing on in. So it's gonna be five white dice into the Okay, okay guys. Where's that crown? Just I gotta go look for that crown, guys. Okay, we're gonna go with the strike team, or the strike team. They're pretty much strike team. <laughs> the arcs that got really messed up by one attack. So we'll go ahead and go with them. We will take an aim for our first action, and we'll shoot our four dice into those three guys. I mean, punch them with your guns? Well, we still shoot. It's, yeah. I know, I'm just joking. There's a four black dice with uh, two aims. One from a buddy if I want to use it, and one of myself. How are we doing? There's still search turkins galore around if I need search it. Search turkins. And they do have armor one. Okay, so it's just going to be three. We'll keep all these tokens for a rainy day. Aren't they? Oh, they're not lethal because they don't have the heavy. That's right. Yep. And the Clone Commando is a good value. Yeah, the, I was going to say the value arcs feel better. Spider one are. and reliable. I, I continue to roll blanks for I you. Go to the sag. It's a commander. Becky has a job to do. She's a hacker, guys. She knows it. So she's going to double move. Touch the... Eh, she'll move right over here to be useful later. And takes a red defense dice. And he paints it all. His free action for slicing in will give him access. If he rolls a blank, though, no access. Oh, It wanted to be for a second. So we got the, the document or the... Uh... So she's transmitted her codes to her whole army. Now any commander, operative, or special forces can touch that middle... Or be within half range of that token. And roll another red dice and get it once that unit has it. That unit gets a physical token I will hand them and put it against their base. And then they have to make it back to the deployment zone. And at the end of that round, when they get to the deployment zone and they whoosh, fly out, game ends. They win. Okay, Padme's here. Um, she's got Inspire 2. We're going to say, hey guys, we know that you took a lot of... Okay, these guys all have Demoralized, by the way, too, so... Luckily, all my arcs have Inspire, so I've taken it all off. We so. did forget about the... I've been putting it out. I think we forgot to say it on camera, so yeah. maybe you forgot to put it I out. I did forget, yeah. So I'll let him catch up on that. Anyway, so she's going to go... Since the arcs have gotten kind of neutered, at least the orange one that was going to try to do this, and they're engaged, she, Padme's like, I got this, guys. I'm a diplomatic person for real. So we're going to touch there. All right. We're going to see if we can slice that, too. No! She is, no. She's not as good a hacker as Becky. I right, go to the stack. It's another core. We'll go with the riot troopers that are engaged. They have three suppression from all the demoralized they dealt with. They are going to be suppressed. Get one action. They'll just swing into the runners that they're engaged with, and they will uh, do that. So this is going to be one black and one red. And it's going to be it. that and their runners, so they get nothing. So it's just two for them. It's a dead runner. All right, we've got a core. We've got five as a unit here. Uh, the arcs are, they, they, he thinks they look okay. They're, they're going to be fine, guys. So, Five's just going to move on up to here for his first action. Sure. And then our second action. So maybe to go free Mr. Obi-Wan Kenobi if we can, or just shy there. We're just yeah, shy I, I there. I think you're good, because you can go to oh, the end, no, yeah. remember? Yep, you're right. Okay. Oh, you're good. Yeah. So we'll charge in there with this giant unit and probably kill that guy. We have the regular unit of four. We have the infantry unit of five black. Five adds three. The shotgun adds two in melee. Pierce one. We'll throw this all out. We really just need... <coughs> they got two health. Two, two health to deal health? with here. Okay. I have pierce. I have search tokens. Okay. Oh, well, we're not going to... I think you might have gotten it. I think we're just going to let all these surges just die. Just let them ride? Yep. It's pierce one, so unless you roll six... Uh... All right, guys. Here comes my monster white defense dice roll. No, no, it was I pierced the only one. For a sec, it's a core. These snow troopers. They're going to start hiking their way towards the middle. One move. Oh, this will be the first shot in non zombie, yeah. I think, guys. Yep. So they'll come up to the uh, crashed arc and they will take a shot. I believe we have our range. Let me just check. You oh, definitely yeah, understand. Right. So we'll shoot into Obi. I'll have backup and deflect with that'll, some dodges. That'll be something. Maybe we don't shoot into Obi then. I forgot about <laughs> backup. I always forget backup. I don't have cover, though. So, I mean, it's not, it's not as bad as usual. So it's it's up to you. you don't, it's, it's, it's a tough... You don't want to risk hurting him? Deflect only hurts one. You know, we'll, we'll try it. Why not? It's up to you. All right, this is just going to be ten white dice into a no cover only. We might have to have backup. All right, so you are looking at a four pack. Okay, well, I'll back up two of those hits away. All right, back up. And then I'll, I have situation awareness, so I'll just double dodge those away. All righty. That's it. Go with my clone commander. He saw uh, He sees Padme over there smacking a thing. He's like, don't worry. He's got training. He has the awesome Camino Special Forces training. But so that one you can't hardcore parkour over, buddy. Why? Because it's higher than the silhouette. There you go. I mean, it doesn't matter. Right? Okay, we'll touch here. 
Now he's gonna see if he can hack. And you paint, come on, paint. Yay! He did it! All right, ready? Check on my stack. It's gonna be another unit of the lovely stormtroopers. Uh, I think these guys are just gonna kind of. How far is Obi Wan? We'll keep working on him. So we'll just move up to the end of the snow troopers here, and we'll take a pot shot into Obi Wan. Not Obi Wan Kenobi. Right, five whites into Obi. Just, just the one. I'll back it up. Yep. We go to the three hundred thirty second. They got a nice Z six that. Probably won't have range, but they're going to start moving this way to see if they can support that exit strategy. We got to get that exit plan in. Do I have range? Negative. Yeah. So he'll just move up to here for sure. a second action, just a little bit farther. And then we're just going to chill here and wait to see how things go. Sounds great. All right. Go to the sack here. It's a commander. Salt King himself. He's going to move up to about here. And then he's going to jump up to the arc there. He's sprinting to the middle. Yep. And that'll be him. Core unit, we're gonna go with the purple here. They're gonna take their first action to move into this unit of um, runners. Runners here to try to help them out a little bit because they're gonna have no range to help anyone else out. So there we go, and they're gonna swing away. There we go. Okay, five blacks, I have one aim to share and I have only one surge to share as well if I want to. Okay. One or the other. We'll spend the aim. Okie dokie. Because there's still another aim on the board if I really want to use it later. Oh, that's this, all. This is pretty good. Yeah, that's all. These are runners, so no armor here. The goal is to not kill them, it's to weaken them a little bit. Well, oh! They block three, take two. In the stack here, it's going to be our purple boys. They are going to see if they roll off their one suppression. They do. And then they will attack these flyers. They're going to aim and attack the flyers. So two reds and two blacks for the regular unit. A red because of tenacity, and then two blacks for the um, electro staff. And then I did take an aim. So we will take these two, and try to roll those. Double red blank feels great. All right, four. armor takes away one. Armor three. At least we got there you go. one and a half. All right, last in my stack because Joe Pass is a unit of stormtroopers. They are going to move up to here, and then they'll pop up next to the salt commander, and that will be them. Okie dokie. Last of my stack is this core here. This is the other shotgun trooper. They're going to come in the middle between Ives and his buddy there. We're going to land there. And we're going to, I think we're just going to take a take a pot shot into those giant snow trooper unit. All right. Five black dice with a surge token. Actually access to another one too if I want it. <laughs> hit the edge of the dice. Oh, that's a white dice. That was a hit too. Did you see that? Still a hit. All righty. So four. Four into these boys. You have cover. They do have cover. So cover for four, heavy cover indeed. I block two. That's that's pretty good. Classic heavy cover actually. So we got two to roll for. They all block both of them. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go with the seventh. Does sister she have burst of speed? I can't remember. She does indeed have burst of speed, but using it right now doesn't seem. No, like not this the turn. Best no. Next play. turn. Could so be a she good, will good play. pop over there. She'll pop back over here, hanging out with everybody over. Okay. She's yeah. lying in wait. Look at her hiding. We're gonna go with the arc troopers here. Remember, this one is you have to be within half range of the actual escape pod, not the train. So I'm not half range there. I'm going to move them again, but I just really just want to get within just barely half range of them. So, boop. We, we did it, boys. We'll roll a dice and see if we can... Uh... Oh, no, what am I doing? Yeah, they're going to try to extract it. I was going to have Obi do it, but he already went this turn. So let's try. Let's just try. Let's try. Okay, dokie. Yeah, so then their token for the extraction is going to be just this old school token here. The commander has it. He has to be the one to make it back to here. Okay. All right, last for me is going to be the brother. He is going to start hoofing it. He's going to pop right to there. And then he is going to pop right over to there. That will be him. Does he have relentless? No? He has he charge when he gets injured. He has charge That's right. I went with the Padme makes people move that have tokens card. <laughs> the Padme have another issue in order to a trooper unit that you may either perform a speed one move or gain one aim one dodge order. Come and prove it. This is the seventh sister and fifth brother. This round, fifth brother and seventh sister gain indomitable and roll one extra dice when defending. And the seventh sister is declared as the target of attack while she has a face of order token. She gains dodge token. So we forgot to, Don forgot to show it on camera, but he was within half range of the back of that escape pod because it's just half range of the pod itself and he was able to get his mission too. So it's probably going to be. 
both of us get in there, who can have the most units left alive at the end of the round? Probably win this. Um, I made my arcs move to here with the speed one, and then I had fives move even here and bottled up, so that way in case someone wanted to get cute, they can't come melee my arc. So defensive move, pincer maneuver, onto him. Not really pincer maneuver, I'm just using words at this point. Words, words, words. Words, 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 salad. Who's going to win? So it has to be him to, to start a tie process at least. So we'll go with the brother. We'll crack his burst of speed. He will pop over to here. And then he will pop into here with his... So at the end of the round, no matter what, this game is over because he's made it there. I will probably make mine there too. So it's going to be who has the most defeated units on their army or the, the most points gone. In other words, saying that is going to be the winner. All right. And then I believe this more than likely triggered... These guys, these guys, those Everybody guys. Everybody but those guys, Everybody I think. Everybody but those guys. Okay, so let's go, let's go trigger it up. Okay, we'll do the flyers engage with the riots only first. Six black dice, suppressive. Surge to crit. Only two. Ooh, so you're saying there's a chance. All right. And now we do the runners. There's three runners left in that unit. Two. Two, two runners. runners. And this is going to be against your stormtroopers you're picking? Sure. And they're engaged with both, so... Yep. This is the one that needed to hit the, the riot troopers. Yep. Uh, so they'll take three. Okay, and then what, you have one more flyer unit? And then the flyer unit is engaged with the um, royal guards. Are they full health? They, the royal guards have... No, the flyers. One with a, uh, yes. Full okay, health. six black dice again. Search to crit. You're looking at four. I'm sorry, it is two. There are only two there. Okay, well, we'll just re-roll this because yeah. that was a great roll. Still pretty good. Okay, so this is gonna search to a crits, and then Don's looking at three. So the block two take one, but that does mean another royal guard dies because there was a wound. We gotta do something similar to him and get these arcs out of here. They need to run, run, run faster than they can run. So we'll go to here first and see if what that triggers. I think it's gonna be everything with that back unit. Actually, it's gonna be just these three units here. So we'll do okay. that in a second. We'll trigger, and then to get them, they have jump. Oh, they don't have jump. That's the jetpack I did not bring. Should have jump. They should. All right, so we're there, and we're definitely within the range one of our deployment zone. So we've got our thing back to our base as well. And these three will go. Those two will not. <coughs> so this All is right. the big one. This is the two flyers that are engaged with the two arcs that are left alive. It's going to be three. Three is pretty good. i got two search ovens, so I need paint. Oh. They are gone. Okay, next one. All right, so the next one is the two flyers. This one, I believe, is definitely only engaged with the arcs. So you got all four for those ones. We'll spend and a search we'll and just lose one there. All right. And then the last one is two runners engaged with either the phase ones or the arcs. Phase ones. Take that. Phase ones. And that's going to be a uh, three pack there. We'll spend a surge and lose one. one there. Right, we're going to go to the stack here. It's going to be the purple unit. They are going to go ahead and move to engage these flyers. So the standby will trigger. They will attack the purple unit. And then with whatever is left, the purple unit will attack them back. Six black dice from these flyers that the stormtroopers moved into. Storm troopers. They're going to take one. Man, your dice really turned around. So on the attack back, we only get four dice now. Uh, and it'll be two. One after armor. One after armor. One wound on a fly. Okay, I got commander. This is, uh, this is definitely what you want to see here. We'll go with... Uh, the commander will take a dodge, which triggers these guys to charge in, and these guys will charge into Padme, and then we've taken two different attacks here. Let's see what happens. All right, so these are runners, so it's going to be three blacks, three reds, search to crit. Uh, it's going to be five for you. Man, where are your bad dice from the early rounds? Uh, and they must have must ran out, I guess. So I'll spend a dodge to make it four. So it's four. We need, we need some paint here. i got a surgeon and a neighboring buddy. Oh, okay. okay. We'll take paint. one. So one wound there, and then Padme is going to enjoy the same situation. No dodge. It's a four pack there for her. She rolls white, search defense, but she has more than four health. She should be fine. Just two. Two. Yeah, the commander's going to take an aim via token battery because this is going to be the final round, so these things won't be punching us again. Yep. All right, going to my stack here. It's going to be special forces. We'll go with the red unit here. They'll take an aim for their first action. They're going to charge into these flyers here for their second. Okay. This is going to be three blacks, three reds for our regular guys, and then two blacks for our electro staff. We do have an aim this time. Uh, that's okay. We have the dice. Oh, you don't surge, but still pretty good. Spend the game. So that's a five pack for them. Are you attacking flyers? Flyers, yes. So four after armor? Four after armor. 
Two dead. We're going to go with five unit here. We need to uh, offense a little bit to help weaken his army a little bit. We have a shotgun with Pierce at range two. So we're just going to move just barely into range two with him for his first action. Okay. And then we'll, we get to cohere up to a range one. So we'll cohere to make sure we're in range two of that aim token over there. We'll shoot him. Once again, five for the action infantry, four for the core unit, three for fives, two reds, Pierce one for the shotgun. I have a search token on me and an aim on my exemplar friend there. And uh, that's exemplar. So then I also can share a search. It's not exemplar. It's the, the clone commander has exemplar? Oh, no, he doesn't. You're it's right. Just, You're right. He's the only commander. Sharing. You're right. Yeah. My token sharing. They gave them all token sharing at range two instead of giving yeah. them exemplar. That looks pretty solid to start with, though. I mean, I'm not going to hate it. That's for sure. Jeez. This looks really good. We have a search token, so we'll keep that. We'll spend the aim on this red and black. These four will fall off. Okay, so you're looking Double at it. Spend the heavy search. Cover. So two, four, that was it. Six, seven can go to cover. Okay. And then I have two crits. So it's nine total, but seven can be coverized. So seven for cover. The block three? That's not bad. Okay, so you're looking at six pack coming at you. Pierce one. Six, Pierce one for my snowy boys. Uh, they're going to take five after piercing one. All right, go to the stack here. It's a core. We'll go with the guys that just took a shot. They are indomitable because of their unit card, so we'll get rid of that. And then they will take their first action as a move. Boop. And then I think we'll take the pot shot because we'll be in range four. Um, yeah, we'll just take the pot shot back into five's unit for fun. And then they will continue to run away after that. So it's just going to be five white dice back at them. Just one crit. Ah, it's Obi Wan Kenobi. Unfortunately, even with burst of speed, I can't quite get to anybody even to risk it for a kill. So we're just gonna burst the speed back, I guess. Save his Kenobi life. He's gonna get on the shuttle with the arcs and the codes. Stack. It's a commander. We're gonna go with the Saul King himself. He he could be in a slight amount of danger, so he is going to move back here, and then he is gonna take a dodge. For his second action and then we'll remove one of the four suppression on our riot troopers okay we've got some clone troopers here sure and this was this was Obi's token they're going to move up to there and then we're going to go ahead and try to shoot something we have range and i'll take a look Let's where take a seat take a seat okay we got five black dice here with a suppression or with a surge i mean Possibly two surges if I want it into his stormtrooper unit. So it's just going to be two. All right, they have heavy cover for one. Let's take that one away. And we have a block there. Another stack here. It's going to be the stormtroopers. Let's see what they can do. They only get one action. Um, they're going to be cheeky. They're going to take a shot just for the fun of it. It's going to be five white dice. It's going to be three. I believe you have cover from the shuttle for the crashed escape pod. Oh, good cover roll. And everything's fine. Special forces, they're going to go ahead and take an aim and they'll punch. Well, they have two suppression, so they have to see if they get to two actions at this point. But if they do, they'll take an aim and punch. If not, they just punch. Granted, he went, and I believe he has inspired, or does he not? He does. So he would have probably taken it off. We'll, we'll retcon that. No, he does not. He does not. Never mind, you get a, you get a roll for it. does. All the arcs do. Oh yeah, I'll roll for it. It's fine. Alrighty. Okay, so I got my aim for getting that suppression off. That's going to give me six black dice now with my surge token. And then we've got uh, precision scope. The scope scopes for precise. We don't need it. We'll spend the surge. And look at a full full Monty there. They have a full no Monty, armor. you say. Six pack. Six. They'll block a three and take three. We go to the stack here. And we'll go with the snow troopers that are engaged with the flyers here. They'll take an aim and they'll punch into them. All right, so it's two blacks for the flamethrower and then nine whites for the rest of the snow troopers. And we'll spend the aim on these two. And it's a big four shot here. You get the flyers, right? Yeah. Oh, so one to armor. Oh, one to armor. I'm sorry. Let me roll this. Three. Same difference. Two. And the core. We've got the Ahsoka unit. They're going to have to... Move up and try Hell Mary, I guess. I don't really know what else to try here. So move up to here, and we'll go ahead and take a shot. 
Alrighty. Okay, we've got six white for the Z6, four blacks, three guys. We're shooting into the snow troopers with light cover. They have a dodge for exemplar. Sharing there. <laughs> okay. All right, cover. Guys, this this, this round went real down here real fast. Swing pretty good. Uh, cover doesn't take anything. We'll dodge one. We'll roll for one. We'll block one. All right, we'll go to the stack here. It's going to be Becky. She's just going to move back here. She's going to take a dodge. And uh, she'll inspire one more uh, of our riot troopers. Okay, these purple guys are going to take an aim and punch some runners they're engaged with. All right. Bye, black dice. Spin the aim. Spin the surge. Three for some runners. Well, take one. one. My stack. It's the purple special forces. They do have two suppression. They are going to get one action. They will just swing into the flyer they're engaged with. All right, so it's going to be a red and a black for the regular guy, two blacks for our electro staff, and then one red for tenacity. It's just, uh, just going to be three after that. All armor one. Oh, armor, yeah. So two pack. They're just going to block it both. That was a big swing. That was a big swing. Pammy's engaged, Sherry's, I mean, she'll aim and she'll cry to chop. Why not? Surge crit, three black dice. Spin the aim. These aren't runners, so no armor or anything. All right, that's a dead runner and a half. I got him a stack here. It's going to be our um, riot troopers. They're going to get one action. I'll just punch the runner. Black red, surge hit. Two. Uh, one more wound. All right, Red Stormtroopers, they have a suppression on them. They're going to remove it, so they'll take an aim and they'll punch the runners. All right, it's going to be five white dice with an aim. Surge to hit. And it's just all five. Okay. <laughs> and they'll take two, but that's three, so that runner unit dies. All right, since it's the end of the round here, Seven Sister is just going to do some glory swiping, so she will burst of speed. She'll pop over here. She'll charge into these guys and she'll swing and see what happens. Five dice, or five black, pierce one. Three pierce one. I'll spend it. Pierce one, so just one dies. Okay, I lost one trooper. He dies, end of the round. We get in the shuttle, whoosh, take off. He gets in the shuttle, whoosh, take off. Believe it or not, he, he lost no units. I lost that unit of arcs that just didn't defend anything. So They did. So we tie and then the tiebreaker goes to Don for getting off there with the least amount of dead units. Um, there's three ways you can play this, guys. This was probably too easy. Um, we, we, we toned it down from last time. Last time, how it worked was like a lot of your other videos, is that when you move into the range, they get to go. So it's like an ultimate standby. They get two actions, they get to go no matter what with yeah. their two actions. If you don't engage them, then they still get their two actions. This way, we soften it up by giving them a standby, so they only get one action. I think that was too soft. Yeah. It probably could have just been a standby the first turn and then regular activations the second. But. Yeah, so I would recommend doing that if you want a little more of a challenge. But if you want it normal mode, that's this. If you want to make it even harder, whoever picks up the token has a speed one move away. They decrease their speed to speed one, I should say. Yep. And it can't be augmented by burst or anything like that. So it's just speed one, speed one. So this is the first of, what, four Halloween, three Halloween specials that I've actually won? It's your first Halloween. I mean, usually I just get a Nile. This was our fourth Halloween because it was first the Stormtroopers. Yeah. Then it was <coughs> the, the Genosians, Genosians. And then it was the Spiders with the right. Stormtroopers last year. Was it the G I think it was the Genosians. No, it was the, it was the Stormtroopers oh, and Spiders. The Stormtroopers? Um, they were attacking a Hoth base. Yeah, yeah. And then this year we brought the Bugs back with alternate rules to be the new Thousand. So this by far had the least amount of deaths over any of our Halloween episodes because yeah. usually they just destroy things. But uh, somehow Don started bad, looked really bad for him, but then he didn't lose anything the whole game. He was just yeah, that, chilling there. That Keeping those riot troopers alive was clutch, I think. But I think that even if the riot troopers died, your arcs are worth much more than they are. I think so. It's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty close. But yeah, because I didn't give them anything expensive. But yeah, yeah I would assume I the, the arcs are still, aren't super expensive either. So. Are still more expensive. But yeah, yeah, the other the other issue with it is that um, I should have took. We both played the middle very coy at the beginning, which worked out well for him. But usually, I advance harder onto the middle. So when it gets to that point, there's more things I can kill people who are running away. Um, should have probably just took them up and just killed the two units that came. Killing the, the runners repeatedly, also pulling his side of the runners onto me was a mistake that really caught me in the end because that's what killed my guys. So, yeah. But um, hope you guys enjoyed the Halloween episode. We always have fun doing the alternate episodes. Um, I'm thinking for our next few special episodes, whether it's a Christmas one or whenever we do some more fun rule episodes, we'll call them. Um, we'll put it in our Discord beforehand. We'll have you guys play test them like a month or two ahead of time. We'll probably give it to the Patreons a month ahead of time or two months and then everyone else a month ahead of time. So you guys can get feedback. We can incorporate that into our own playtesting because on top of filming everything, 
We can only get like one play test in a week max if we're lucky. If we're lucky. So um, it's really hard to play test these that's, ourselves. That's why you don't see Shatterpoint right now. <laughs> yep, we had to play test this one. So Shatterpoint took a little backseat. It's coming back though. Uh, very soon. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Um, the bugs were printed by Josh and J Squared. He bought the file from somewhere. I forgot where. So apologize not to be able to shout yeah. them out correctly. John, John, painted, John painted them. Who's on the channel? Macho, Mr. Macho, Man, Macho John. Man John. He painted our bugs for us a couple years back. So thanks to him. Any other shout outs you need to make, Don? I think we're shouted out. Well, I want to say happy Halloween, you guys. Thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of the Zombie Bugs. Empire got the win. This is Don's second win on the new Legion. And I think for an third win. extra... Third win. Third win. It's just special. It doesn't count. Um, for an extra, extra bonus, what's your favorite Halloween candy? Like, put that in the, in the comments. Because if you made it this far, why not? Ooh, my favorite Halloween candy... It's like, it goes back and forth, but if I'm being honest with myself, it's probably like Tootsie Rolls, but like, not hard Tootsie Rolls. It has to be like fresh Tootsie Rolls. Yeah, those are like... tough to find in their hand. Oddly enough, Halloween only though, like my favorite candy is not this during the regular year, but Halloween, it's sugar babies. Interesting. Yeah, I wouldn't know so good, but it's like the, the one rarity, like when you go through the big pile of candy for the kids that, that they got and you're like, oh, sugar babies, I'm going to eat. Those are the ones I always draw myself towards, which is funny. Because usually it's a gummy. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a jelly bean, uh, Swedish fish guy most of the time. I'm a chocolate guy. But all of a sudden. I understand what you mean. Just the Halloween. one time of the year I eat um, is the 100 gram bars. Uh, I dig those out of the candy basket. Yeah. I that too. So yeah. maybe it's that one. I don't know. But yeah, let us know below. Um, keep an eye out for more episodes, more special drops. Um, we'll probably do some more interviews in the next month or two once the next wave of stuff comes out. We'll see if we can get someone from AMG back on to shout out and talk to you guys and answer questions. So if you're curious about submitting questions, make sure you're in our Discord. That's where I ask for extra questions. Obviously, I can't take everyone's questions, but I do filter them. And if you guys have good questions, I will pass them along to them. And with that said, anything else? Oh, um, arcs are good. This is bad defense roll, but the offensive rolls in this game from the Arcs were oh much my gosh. Over. You were rolling 10 dice and getting 7 pretty consistently. Oh, he's fine. He's not bad. The issue is just Anakin right there. Yeah. And Anakin, Anakin is just, Anakin just better. Anakin is just the premium version. I think, honestly, he's just he's, better. I think he's just the best Force user in right the now, game currently. If it, I have a hard feeling the Republic faction is going to see a point increase across a lot of their units. I feel like, and I have a good feeling that Anakin's probably going to be one because he's too good. So if Anakin goes up by anything more than let's say ten or fifteen points, Obi being 10, 15, 20 points less could probably make an argument for him not being a bad slot in. Could be, but Anakin's just going to do work for you. He is. Obi's definitely more of the I'll bring Force yeah. Barrier. I can Guardian. Yeah, I can spend Dodge to Guardian. I got Sorcerer, yeah. which isn't as good as it used to be. But he's a little bit more defensive. But Anakin is just. Anakin's going to kill you, and Tempted then when you alone. kill his friends, he's going to kill you. Yeah. So. Padme, you know what? For I, First time I played her, I was like, ah, she's not great anymore. But you know what? For 60 points, yeah, having Sharpshooter 2, having Nimble, Agile, Inspire 2, Bolster 2, Surge Crit, Surge Jet, she, she's not bad. Yeah, she feels good. At 60. 60, I feel like, is pretty yeah. cheap. Especially in an it's army, eight points in an more army than like this, clone. where, you know, sometimes you, you, don't, you don't, you know, you could probably trade her for a unit of clones with a heavy, but... Not even. And clones is like 52 by itself. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. So, so you, she might... you could get a naked unit of clones or her. Yeah. She she adds a lot. She has a command card. She has, does she, she still has secret, secret mission. She can get secret mission out of her command yeah. card. Yep. So she's, she's an opportunity for more points in a game where points matter. I like a card that lets people move. I always think people moving out of turns always people strong. People moving out of her and Leia's cards are both kind of broken in the new way we play because being able to move just be like, here's an order and move. It's good. Hurts. Like, at least Dooku has to attack you to make you move yeah so yeah good stuff it's good stuff i don't know why we're randomly on that tangent but i just wanted to say i just enjoy, enjoy them we don't need to pad the runtime of this video at all guys. no guys it's great <laughs> the runtime on this video no but seriously thank What's you all have a good night Bye. talk to you guys